Today, we're going to be hitting up, starting with our Town Hall 13, going up against a 15 here. So it's the mismatches. And what I'm going to be using is a Warden Fireball with some Rocket Loons. And we got four Earthquakes, which is going to be in combination to take out the Clan Castle, but also open up walls here. So I'm going to play in to drop my Warden over here. Have him walk like this. I'm going to send Rocket Loons up through here. Take that stuff down. Uh, maybe some Rocket Loons here. But if I'm able to hit this Poison Spell Tower with the Warden Fireball, I could take out the Clan Castle, Monolith, this, that, that, and hopefully all of this right here. And if I drop four Earthquakes, it will not only open up the walls, but take that down so that I can then push through. So the Warden will continue and grab the Town Hall. It explodes. Poison Spell wears off. And then we push our way right on through. And then our King can, like, come down here and he can run through like this maybe even wall break or whatnot king you go through here and while the main smash goes just like that and while that's all happening we can have a flame flinger all the way over here since there's nothing that can really damage it and take it out so yeah that's the plan and let's do it okay so let's go with a, a rocket loon like this flame flinger okay so warden here Alright, so we're gonna go Rackaloon, Rackaloon, Rackaloon. We don't want to pull out the Clan Castle. Okay, Warden's gonna take his time. Rackaloon's here. Oh, don't pull out the CC, please. Just take out the Wizard Tower and that's it. That's all I want you to do. One more Rackaloon here. Okay, so we gotta go with a... Gotta be perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Gotta go... Invis. Invis, invis, invis. Boom. Okay, the poison spell did not go off. Drop the wizard here. Let's rage this up. Take that off. Wall break. Drop the yeti. Drop the king here. Queen, like so. Alright, so. Wall break. Okay, it goes there. I want the wall breaker. Oh, hopefully it doesn't get killed by the eagle. It does. Okay, so we're just going to push our way in. Drop an ice golem a wizard to go for the spe poison spell. Going to have to drop a headhunter. Pop king ability. Slow that down. Come on. Look at that. Drop a headhunter here. Let's rage you up. Send the RC down south with a wizard there, an archer there, archer there, archer there. We do have two more invis still to use. Drop a headhunter like so. We can use these to protect the royal champ. I don't even know what I have in my flame blinger. It might be balloons. All right. Queen is grabbing the multi, so that's great. Pop RC ability, which is a shield. It is rocket loons here. Pop queen ability. Make the RC and rocket loons here invisible. Make the queen invisible. Take that down. We got wizards around. And there we go. We've taken this space down. The fireball with the warden. Grabbing all that value. It looks like I did not hit that other poison spell with it. It was uh, just a bit too far. But I took clear value over here with the flame flinger. Since there was no expo. No monolith. And no mortar over here that would take out a flame flinger. So it was well worth it to get the value with this Town Hall 13 taking down the Town Hall 15. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and do 15 versus 15 now here. And the plan is going to involve the Warden Fireball, since that's what I got here, level 24. And I want my Warden Fireball to hit this Builder Hut. So if I do a Warden Walk here with some Rocket Loons like this... If I make this stuff invisible, if I rocket loon that, if I make this invisible, so if I go one invis, two invis, warden can take this out. So I'll go one invis, two invis, three invis, uh, four invis, rocket loons can take this out, rocket loons can take these out and this out, uh, and then I should be able to hopefully target this builder hut earthquake through here, and then we're going to move our way around to the eagle. And then wrap our way all the way around and end on the town hall. I know it's risky, but that's what I'm going to take. And that's what I'm going to do here. All right, let's go. And we got a siege barracks so we can get a two packers coming out because it's a max siege barracks. So here we go with a warden walk like so. Okay, 
Raccoons, raccoons, raccoons. All right, that's going down. Perfect, perfect. Good, good. More raccoons like this. Snipe that. I actually think I can snipe this archer tower with some raccoons. Oh, hello. Uh, that was not expected here with these Tesla farm popping up here. Okay, so we got to go uh, boom, 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 warden. All right, taking all that down. We're good. Go and rage up these raccoons. Make the warden invisible so he can continue to walk a little bit. Grab that ground expo. And now let's drop the king over here. Siege barracks. Some more balloons. Ice golem. Root riders. Alright. Let's drop an electro titan. Okay, we're moving on through. Wizard here. Let's keep going. The town hall is not getting repaired, so we're good there. Wall break here. Got one more rage left. We can wall break again. Pop king ability. Let's continue to push our way towards this defensive queen. Of course, let's use an invis. Take her down. And we can drop an RC over here. Make you invisible so the root rider opens the wall perfectly there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, keep moving. We'll save the rage as we get closer. Oh, okay. Wizards do backtrack. Drop a wizard down here. Come on. We got a minute left. Keep going. Keep going. We got a root rider as well. We can just drop a rage leading into here. Pop queen ability with the giant arrow. Drop a wizard headhunter here to slow you down. Pop RC ability. Skips across. And there we go. We've taken this one down. It is a three star with the fireball. The Tesla farm almost messed me up thinking the fireball might go over there, but we're good. We do get the three star here with our channel 15. Well, let's take a look at base number 10 here in this match. But if I do a warden fireball onto this invisibility spell tower, I can take out the clan castle because it is what four tiles in between. We got one, two, three, and then this is four. So that means I can hit the clan castle and I'm going to drop two earthquakes because usually what happens if I drop one, uh, usually it, it tends to get repaired, even though the fireball will kill these and the builder huts over here. And it's probably actually, I probably need one to be honest, because these will die to that fireball. So I can take that second earthquake and use it somewhere else, but I could continue this warden walk over here and he can remove the town hall. So if he could go through here, or I maybe just save the second earthquake just for the core to really damage the middle, I guess that might be a good shot. Uh, so if I do a warden walk here and he takes out this with rocket loons down here, and then fireball hits the invisibility spell tower. I could take out the clan castle, take out this town hall goes down, and then we can start with the queen near the warden and make the smash through the base like this. We can send our king down to the bottom side, take out the defensive king, move through here with the siege barracks and Valkyries, and then our smash will come right through the base like this and across. And then the royal champion, she will run her way up and around the base like that uh yeah so that's the plan here for this face and let's go this is this the army that i use in legends league and i don't know what is around this town hall uh, it's probably tesla's maybe but i guess we'll find out okay so let's go with a warden let's go with a rocket loon here rocket loon here rocket loon. okay tesla's are there all right i took that one out all right, so let's go with some more rocket loons. Ooh, okay, a lot of Tesla's popping up over there. All right, so now we got to go with an invis. Warden, where are you going? Okay, this is not good. Okay, wait, we got to go invis. Invis, invis, invis. Boom. All right. Let's go rage up this warden. We're going to have to freeze the town hall. All right, let's take, try to see if we can take out the, ta the town hall. Town hall go down. All right, drop the queen up top. Because I did not want to lose the healers. That is something that's really important that you keep alive is your healers. So let's drop you here. And let's drop a uh, siege barracks like this. 
Uh, I'll try to rage up you. Electro Titan, Headhunter, that. Boom. Root Rider, Root Rider, another balloon. Wall break down here. All right, so we want to really try to keep this Warden alive if possible. Pop King ability. Headhunter. Let's go ahead and go with an Earthquake through here to damage this whole core. Rage. Oh, come on. Let's rage that up. Continue our way through. Warden stays alive with that Life Gem, which is very, very important. And they're making their way through. We could drop maybe a Wizard over here. While that Ground Expo is distracted, we'll just drop the Royal Champion uh, to the top side with an Archer. We found a Tornado Trap in the core. Got a lot of skellies up there, but Queen, come on. Keep going. Okay, there's the Queen ability. Uh, she take out the multi arch tower, which is going to be clutch here. All right, RC, keep going. Keep going, RC. Keep going. Pop the RC ability. There we go. It's not the prettiest. Drop a wizard up top. And there we go. The Queen stays alive. RC runs across, and we got the value. I was a little scared that the warden was going to hit the town hall, make everything invisible there, that I couldn't get the, tar the targeting down for the warden fireball. It's okay. It's a three-star here. It was a little tricky. I'll take it.